Battle Royale. Gas is closing on your position. Suggest you get moving. Your teammate was sent to the Gulag. They'll fight for a chance to redeploy. redeploying to the AO. Moving! We're in the safe zone. Watch for enemy. Shotgun here. Enemy UAV overhead. Shotgun here.
return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done here. Sort them out or capture the objective. Grab some target practice while you can. We're deploying soon. enough fucking about. Now we do this for real.
teammate has entered the gulag. Surviving earns them redeployment. teammate got a proper sorting. We're sending them home. You're all that's left. Get it done. Enemy UAV overhead. UAV overhead. to earn redeployment. <clears throat> you win this fight and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done here. <coughs> sort them out or capture the objective.
yourselves a proper warm-up. We'll be deploying soon. to a redeployment. buy you back if they have the cash. All right, uh, because everybody's wearing masks and gloves now. Uh, the other thing, though, is uh, when you see people running out of these stores, uh, they may think that they are completely shielded and that we're not going to catch them. Uh, there's a lot of different ways that they can forensically go through and look at the video to draw out certain little details and stuff. And, and when they jump into a car, uh, there's a lot of ways that cars can be tracked. 
I won't get into all the details, but I would say the number of people today that looks like that looks like they stole something and then took off, um, they may have a rude awakening uh, over the next day or so. Uh, there's just a lot of ways to track this sort of stuff. A lot of means out there. This is not 1992. There's just a lot of different technology out there that can be employed. You're absolutely right, starting with just our chopper, as we've been watching in all the different news stations from up above, in addition to security cameras. I'm already starting to see security footage from inside stores that have been broken into in the Fairfax district overnight. You can absolutely guarantee all of these stores have surveillance, and they'll be able to go through and see exactly who came into the store. There's a van store. What is fascinating to see, um, and we believe that that's where a lot of the looting is taking place, but look at the the scattered boxes on the ground from right up against this door to, to the right of that car to that back to the intersection. They're running out with their hands full. They're dropping what they can't carry. Boxes everywhere. Look at this guy. Wow. How many boxes does he have? One, <laughs> two, Look at him. three, four at least. Beyond that, but scattered shoe boxes mm -hmm. everywhere. People everywhere. running in a frenzy. One, two, three, four, and five. And dropping, oh, and he's on the phone. Up. And he's on the phone. Wow. I, I, I would almost bet that he did not buy those boxes of, of shoes. But look, down the street as well. It is an absurdity. And Hal, I hope you're right, but I think in the minds of a lot of these offenders is that there's so much going on right now. There's too many people to go after. They're going to get out and get away with this scot-free. Well, David, I, I'm going to tell you right now. You saw he was walking on the street with five, per, five boxes of shoes talking on his cell phone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I, I, I can tell you that there's a way we can go back and find him. <laughs> yeah, that cell phone is going to give a lot of information as well. Um, there, well, yeah, just the fact that he's on the cell yeah, phone at that place and that we'll time gives away a lot of information. The real yeah. question, though, is are there enough resources to actually go through, individually find one person by at a time in so many different locations all across our city over hours and hours? Multiple days. Yeah. Multiple, multiple yep. days of offenses. Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, yeah, Veronica, that'll be a tough one. a proper warm-up. We'll be deploying soon. Drop 
point for your team, soldier. Gas is approaching your position. Move to the safe zone. That's our drop zone. Get ready. UAV overhead. Your teammate got a proper sorting. We're sending them home. It's all up to Shit. you now. Go for the win. Enemy dropping into the AO. Turn to the front line. You lose, your fight is over. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Stand by, Stand by for redeployment.
UAV overhead. Loadout drop headed your way. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. I'll drive.
yourselves a proper warm-up. We'll be deployed soon. Some warming up. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. Shit, they disappear, bro. Moving! Have a go at these bastards while you're waiting. Give them some choice words or smash their mugs with a well placed stone. The fight's begun. Some sort of disruptive. You win this fight and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done here. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. You're a little worse for wear. You're heading back to base. Your team can still buy your back if they have the cash. I'm here. Get ready to move. Riot shield here. Station here. 
Come on, dude. a proper warm-up. We'll be deployed soon. Safe zone. We should drop there. Affirmative. Affirmative. Recon intel secured. Bounty target has been marked. Kill him.
assault rifle here. They're losing ground. Time's up. Objective failed. I'll drive. Soldier, win here and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. Sort them out or capture the objective. Ah! You got your ass kicked in what that one. Fuck? We're sending you back to base. If your team has the cash, they can pay for your release. Thank you.
yourself sorted. We'll be deploying shortly. Closing in fast. Get to the safe zone. This is here if you need. I'll take it. We should drop there! Teammates in the gulag. If they survive, they can redeploy. Come on. Come on, bitch. Holy shit. Objectives updated. Move to the next location. Next objective located. Gracious brother, bro. Come on. Primary objective accomplished. All supply boxes found.
Enemy UAV overhead. up soldier win here and you return to the front line but if you lose you're done time to earn your freedom soldier looking a little worse for wear you're heading back to base your team can still buy you back if they have the cash Here, as I said, we just watched the, a group of LAPD officers going in to help out with Santa Monica here. I'm going to see if we can get in closer, but we're going to take our time getting in there because the crowd has been a little uh, uneasy. We're going to see what we can do with this and uh, in terms of what we've seen. Now, we have not personally seen any of the looting happening, but I was watching as uh, workers were just boarding up all the windows around Nordstrom. Uh, there at Santa Monica Place. They were putting up plywood over all the windows to try to prevent any further damage, I'm assuming. Uh, so again, this had started out as a peaceful protest uh, and then took a turn when there were groups of looters that ended up breaking into numerous businesses here. We just spoke to one of the protesters, Jay, you heard just a couple of minutes ago, and he said they were absolutely peaceful in front of the entrance to the pier here on Ocean Avenue uh, when he said things took a turn. He says he wasn't certain why they fired the pepper spray into the crowd, but he said when that happened, that certainly seemed to agitate everyone and certainly seemed to raise the tension. Door shattered. It a where bit that bike is sitting, so that door I can has see been quite shattered. A few people, okay, or some people go, go ahead. I just wanted, to, as, as our uh, uh, viewers so are it, watching, you know, they're trying to be as peaceful and as they with can. More over here, you can I see, can't, uh, see and try and get those individuals out. Happening. And at I'll some point, they really there, have to. Minute, I mean, as far as the vandalism, the loss of property is concerned, I mean, that's one issue. But we saw the fire department respond, possibly to a small fire. Now that really is another issue because that's going to endanger a lot of people and really cause things to boil out of control, to just boil over. Uh, so you have this crowd right here on Ocean that is peaceful. Uh, we have heard that the uh, Santa Monica Police as well as the LAPD are going to try to get these people to leave. We did have them in the intersection. They had to use tear gas. When they did that, you can see everybody backed up, but it did allow uh, the police strategically to control this intersection and I think it was really important for them to do that, to stop little groups going down Colorado and getting uh, back into those areas that were being looted. All right, so there's the situation. So Scott, just to establish what we're looking at here, there's the intersection they wanted out. There's the crowd to the right of our screen that that's basically the crowd that left that intersection due to the tear gas. But then further down the street, there's another crowd and another police line set up. But both sides as of right now, as far as you can see, are peaceful. Yeah, there have been, hasn't been any confrontation that we've seen in between the crowd and the police. We haven't seen what we saw yesterday, you know, like rocks and bottles and canisters being thrown at the officers. Uh, besides that one incident where they put out the tear gas and they opened up the intersection we just talked about, uh, there's been interaction between the, peace, uh, the police and the protesters, but it's been peaceful. And you can tell that shot right there. Most people are kneeling. They don't appear to be agitated. And it looks like some of the looting has died down a little bit. And I believe that is because we're seeing more and more 
police presence. We're seeing the fire department move in behind them, a lot of LAPD cruisers, and I think that is just uh, establishing a deterrent from those who are looking at the opportunity to steal. And so slowly but surely, uh, the police are taking the uh, moves and the actions they need to to try and secure this area. All right, Scott, we have a quick programming note to pass along to our viewers. For anybody tuning in right now at 3.30 to see Eyewitness Newsmakers with our Adrian Alpert, that program, which is all about the impact of coronavirus, is having on California's public colleges and universities. Well, that's going to air next Sunday now at 3.30 p.m. Today's Newsmakers will not air again until next Sunday at 3.30. So we hope you join us then. And meanwhile, let's turn to Leanne Souter, who is on the ground in Santa Monica, Leanne, uh, what's going on right uh, yeah, now? Yeah, Veronica, we are we are able to get behind the police line here. Let me show you what's happening right now. You can take a look over here in the middle of the crowd. We have members of the SWAT team from Santa Monica PD. They are negotiating, talking with some of the organizers here of this protest. Now, this has been declared an unlawful assembly. They have given the crowd a five-minute notice. I already told them that if they do not clear out, they will be arrested. You can see how many are gathered here. And now the uh, police now trying to work with the organizers trying to come to some resolution as to there may be people in the crowd that do want to be arrested to make a statement. Others may want to leave and avoid that. But again, they're trying to get this to end peacefully here on this side. You can see all of the officers that are lined up here. They have their gas masks on because they knew what had happened earlier with that tear gas. They were prepared uh, for that when that was fired. And then I'm going to show you one other thing as we pan all the way if we go that way. Split down uh, Colorado here, or split down Ocean, I should say, just past Colorado. That is where another group is. It appears that they split the original group of protesters into two when that tear gas went off. So there's another contingency down there that is getting the same warning that this has now been declared an unlawful assembly and that they must clear out or be arrested. So we're waiting to see what's happening. I want to point out one other thing because this is only, I, this, I find this very interesting. Only in Southern California can you have a major protest going on, and you can still have people here enjoying their leisurely brunch, watching oh my everything gosh. that is happening, watching this protest, uh, and just taking it all in. So yeah. uh, as this continues on Ocean right here, I mean, it, it seems right only, only in Southern California, only in L.A. would you see that. But again, we can see people starting to leave, so it appears at least they're starting to clear out a little bit. They're still working with the main a group of organizers or protests here trying to get something, but it looks like they might be listening or at least they might be clearing off to the side. Yeah. Maybe they're telling them to clear out of the street and just go off onto the side here along Ocean, stay in that uh, greenway area, that open space. So it appears that's what they're doing at this point. I do not see anyone uh, under arrest as they're still working to kind of end the tension here, but it seems like things have calmed down a little bit. I know the tension does not seem to be as high, at least on this side of the protest. I'm not sure what's going on the other end yet, uh, but this side, as you can see, they've all gathered now along the green space here along Ocean. So hopefully that is a good sign that this is going to be resolved peacefully, no more trouble. Other officers, though, are uh, deeper in Santa Monica there, that uh, Third Street Promenade, all the other businesses dealing with all the looting that they were had going on earlier. So uh, trying to take care of that aspect. So there are uh, law enforcement, there's law enforcement throughout Santa Monica here in the downtown area trying uh, to take care of all these protests, all of the looters, everything going on. But that's the very latest here live in Santa Monica. Leanne Suter, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Uh, that was a classic look, uh, Leanne. What a great point, that couple that's sitting at the table. Hey, there's no greater drama than what's happening in real life right now. And this Reality. is Hollywood you're talking about. And the entertainment is business is everything. And, and this is fascinating what's happening. We also sh popped up oh. at that time. Uh-oh, let's, let's see what's going on here. There, let's check back with Scott. Scott, what's the running? Yeah, it, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. You know, the police go to the left a little bit, open up. They decided to move forward on Ocean uh, and move the crowd out. Now, I think uh, Leanne had mentioned they've given them warning that they're going to be arrested if they don't leave. And right now, what they're doing is just taking a line of police officers down Ocean. You can see the tear gas is out once again. Open up and pan to the right just a little bit. And then you can see to the right. And then you can see the crowd uh, really uh, dispersing uh, down Ocean and getting away from uh, the activity. And then by controlling that intersection um, and forcing everyone out this way, it stops them, it's possible, but it'd be difficult to go around and get uh, back towards the shops in uh, the uh, downtown Santa Monica area on 3rd uh, Street and Broadway where we saw that looting. 
Uh, but you do see that officers have formed a line and they're slowly moving forward and it looks like they really are trying to get everyone uh, to leave. I want to show you one other thing. It was very interesting. Open up and go back to the left. Uh, that's where Leanne was. And uh, right in here, well, you see everybody's moved to the side. But moments ago, this crowd was peaceful, but they were right up to the officers, talking to the officers about leaving the street, getting off the street. And you could tell there was someone like a mediator in between the crowd and the police, but it was a good exchange. Everybody seemed to be okay with the exchange, and then they slowly moved off the street onto this park area uh, in this walkway here above the bluff in Santa Monica. Uh, I think that's what they had hoped would happen if you go back to the uh, intersection where we were uh, with that group. But that group uh, was insistent on staying. It gave them the order to leave the street. They didn't do it, so they moved in with force. They uh, had some tear gas, and it looks like for the most part that crowd uh, has, uh, has left. Yeah, it really looks like they quickly got out of there. I think that uh, explosion of gas, I think that actually came from one of the protesters, maybe some sort of a smoke bomb or something. Um, but it, it doesn't look like there's much of a crowd anymore, David. No, that def definitely did its job to disperse the crowd. They want them out of there, and as the uh, curfew approaches, they want to get Santa Monica to, to settle down, and they're largely accomplishing that goal. And keep in mind, as we reported a little while ago, the uh, exit ramps off of the, um, the 10 freeway and um, PCH are shut down. You can't get into Santa Monica right now. So if they can get these people out, they're fairly confident that, that other people will not be able to get in and they could restore peace to this one community, which has seen its share of problems this afternoon. And if you were just joining us, we saw some rather startling and tragic images of looting that's been going on in the Santa Monica promenade. Peaceful protesting in one part of Santa Monica, looting in another. And we want to point it out that we believe that these are two entirely different groups of people and that it's not the protesters that are doing the looting. That's right. We've seen a very uh, peaceful group of protesters there uh, from the ground, from Leanne Suter's camera, and from up above. And those splintered off uh, individuals, we really think that they're just organized crime coming in to take advantage of this situation. Uh, what happens to them will be seen in the coming weeks and months, but our Hal Kempfer security expert says there are so many different ways that if police decide to, uh, you know, take action and go after some of these people who are looting, there are a lot of different ways to track them. Security cameras being one of them, um, and again, we're seeing uh, businesses put out their own security footage to try and find some of these people who have taken their merchandise. And this comes on the weekend that L.A. County was able to reopen their businesses and their restaurants after months of being shut down during the pandemic. A lot of these small businesses, uh, not, you know, not just here, but in other parts of Los Angeles that were broken into and destroyed, you know, they've lost revenue over the last few months just because they couldn't be open due to the pandemic and then now this. What also hurts them is the, the curfew. Yes. So the curfew is forcing them to shut down and also the fact that people are now fearful to go out into our streets is going to shut down business as well. So they're getting hit through a variety of reasons when it comes to the unrest that we're seeing throughout Southern California. And it's a real tragedy because they need the business and we understand that. Yeah, definitely. So as we continue to watch this situation, we want to let you know that we're also watching other communities as well because we believe that there's going to be a lot more than what's going on in Santa Monica. We did see a protest in Huntington Beach just a little while ago. Uh, that was shut down uh, and shut down fairly quickly, and it has quieted down in Huntington Beach. But also we are uh, concerned about other communities as well. That's right. Um, I actually... I'm looking at video right now um, from downtown Los Angeles, and we're going to try and get this cleared and confirmed, but of an LAPD officer hitting a protester um, in the street with his car. We'll examine that situation. Yes, Let's absolutely. get back to Leanne Suter, who's watching something down and going down in, in Santa Monica. Leanne? Yeah, it appears they're attempting to do the same thing on this side of the protest, but it doesn't appear it's having, it's working quite as well. They don't have one of those mediators that we have seen yet so far trying to work with the crowd. Instead, they just pushed back this side. You can see all of them gathered there, some up there on the platform by the park 
uh, here in Santa Monica right off of Ocean. You guys had mentioned the freeway. I have to say when we were coming in, every exit into Santa Monica had been shut down by the CHP.